Rachel, whatever you're thinking right now, however you're feeling, we will get through this together as a family. You went and visited Angus, didn't you? And told him to break it off with me? Yes. You didn't leave her much choice. Libby. No, I'm sorry, Mum. We have been frantic with worry and she's been wallowing in self-pity. Okay, I know what you're both thinking. Stupid little schoolgirl, big bad teacher, schoolyard crush. You have no idea! Be very careful, Rachel. We're both angry. Fine, I need some time out. How long have you known where Rachel was? Since this morning. I tried to say she was okay. Why didn't you just tell us? Because of the way she was talking about you. She needed to calm down. Zeke, I know your loyalties were divided. No, it's not that. It's just she was acting so horrible. And you haven't been very well lately. I didn't want her to say anything to you. So you were trying to protect me and look after her at the same time. Oh, Zeke. Thank you. You did a really great job. Enjoy going through my emails, did you? Miss, you ran away because I told Angus never to see you again. Oh, so you can just stand there and admit it like you're proud oh, of it. Oh, I'm not proud of any of this. A are you jealous of me? Is that, is that what this is? For goodness sake. No, okay, then why do you have to threaten my boyfriend? Four marriages isn't good enough. For I you. am the adult here. I'm responsible for what you do. That's what you think of me, isn't it? A child, a stupid, immature child. He was your teacher. I loved him. Oh, for goodness I loved sake, him Rachel, and I, I still loved you him. think you love him, but it's not real. You're pathetic. You're sad, dried up, jealous, That's apathetic. It. I hate you! Away. Do you even know what you just said to Susan? She could chuck you out if she wanted, but she won't, Rach. She would rather die. She would rather die than let anything ever happen to you. She had to get rid of Angus. See, what am I going to do?